Caliber TV, DJ Lewe, two man against the Brock now, Gamsin, Havilin, CL, Consulin, Jackson, Petrosin, Kermia, Celebrity TV, we are wow. Money, me, you're Cassiusina, the system. Yo, you're watching Celebrity TV live. This is Shata Wale Bandana. Hello there, and thanks for joining us once again on Celebrity TV. Today's episode is Power Pad. But before I give you the headlines, don't forget, as you're watching the show, take those nice selfies and keep posting them on our Celebrity TV page on Facebook. And once we get as many pictures, we will start showing them. So keep them coming. Okay, now to the headlines for today. FIA, Sarkodie, Fuse ODG R2B get nomination for the MTV Days Mamas 2014. Don't cry when I die, says Basket Mark. Verma Sidney says he knows some Guinean musicians who use Juju for their music. Most members of Ghana Actors Guild, including the A-listers, don't hate Jews. Also coming up on today's edition, John Legend warns Kanye West of reality TV's impact on relationship. These and many more right here on Celebrity TV when we come back after the break. My name is Gil. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Watching Celebrity TV. We love them, we love them. You stay tuned, you celebrate the TV. Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Watching Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Number one. Celebrity TV. CCTV. If it's hot, they got it, they make it rock. Do you need a Black Magic Cinema Camera to rent? The Black Magic Cinema Camera features an amazing 2.5K image sensor with a wide 13 stops of dynamic range for a true digital film camera. The Black Magic Cinema Camera also features a high resolution sensor with wide dynamic range, so it's perfect for independent film, music videos, television commercials, TV series, etc. We rent out the Black Magic Cinema Camera fully rigged with a Canon 17 to 55 mm EF zoom lens and Canon 50 mm prime lens, two SanDisk Super State drives, an extra power base battery pack, the professional A-Box XLR audio adapter. Rent a Black Magic Cinema Camera today and work at the highest quality to achieve the best results. This is Valerie. I'll be coming up with the latest entertainment news from New York, the Big Apple. The city that never sleeps. We have a lot of news coming up to you on Celebrity TV. Keep watching. And we are back with Celebrity TV. Now moving on with our first story. Africa's number one music authority, MTV Base, has announced the nominees for this year's MTV Africa Music Awards. The announcement was made Wednesday night at an impressive nominations party at the Sands in Johannesburg, South Africa. The nominations were dominated by Nigerian artists as they received the most recognition, with South Africa also following. Ghana, however, received only four nominations, missing out on top categories such as Best Male, Artist of the Year and Song of the Year categories. Fuse ODG is nominated in the Best Pop category and Sarkodie also for Best Hip Hop. If he is in the category of Best Female, while the Out to Be song with Whiskey Slow Down is vying for Best Collaboration Award. The different categories which include Best Male, Best Female, Song of the Year and Artist of the Year have also broadened the scope of the MAMA Awards franchise as achievements in non-music fields would also be recognized. They include Personality of the Year and Transformed Today by Absolute, an award designed to recognize and support young, emerging and original African creative talents who use their imagination to fuel social transformation and bring positive attention to the continent. Well, congrats to Afia, Sarkodie, 
Fuse ODG and R2Bs for the nominations and we wish you come home with some awards. Now there is trouble brewing in the camp of the group P Square. Reports have it that the two brothers, Peter and Paul Okoye, are facing problems. When all thought Peter Okoye, the most vocal among the two, will publicly talk about this rumor, Paul, who is more reserved, has rather come out to pray for the group. As fans around the world are praying for the group not to split, Paul Okoye also took to Facebook to ask for God's intervention for Peace Square. After the storms comes the calm, hoping for better days ahead as one family. God's intervention, Paul Okoye wrote on his wall. Meanwhile, celebrities and fans of the Nigerian singing duo Peace Square have appealed to them to reconcile whatever differences they might have and show their planned breakup. Nollywood actress Tonto DK, who is close friend of the twins, likened the impending breakup to death and implored their wives to do something to salvage the situation. She said, when you break up, your whole identity is shattered. It is like death. The love of, of twins is undisputed, Paul and Peter. You have been together for years, making great songs like Senorita, Do Me, Story, More Than a Friend, Omoge Me, Busy Buddy, Alingo, Personally, Testimony, The List Is Endless, Why Break It Up Now? Please learn, two hearts are better than one. Mrs. Lola and Anita, they say a woman makes a home. This is the time to show the world that both of you are women with great substance, which I believe you are, she appealed in a post on Instagram. For days now, the rumor mill has been ablaze with news that a singing duo has gone their separate ways over issues many have come to tag irreconcilable differences. Since news of the crisis broke, fans have taken to every known social media page to beg the twins to stay together. The rumors was given wings by their brother and manager Jude Okoye. Following his tweet, after 10 years, it's over. I'm done. It sent short waves through the entertainment world with their fans fearing the worst. There are many people who depend on other spiritual forces for their benefit, whether good or bad. In the entertainment industry, it's no news that some people have contacted some oracles to seek for protection. A lot of entertainers have spoken about this issue, and the latest person to add his voice is controversial musician Barry Mas Sidney. According to the Aucha Congo hitmaker, he knows some musicians who use Juju in their career, but he refused to mention names. He warned them to desist from the act because it will disgrace them at the end of the day. Berima also advised the upcoming artists to stay away from the use of Juju or Voodoo and concentrate on nurturing their talent. The hit live artist said, try and be unique. Always remember that if your talent is from God, he should be the only source of your power and the only one you look up to. But some musicians have mixed their talents by seeking for juju. Burma Sydney, however, gave pointers on how he identifies such people. He revealed, we know them all. When you find a way around them, you feel it by the smell of them that they have a bad spirit in them. It also happens when you meet them in the studios. He stated that using spiritual powers to gain fame will only lend them in disgrace. Africa's all-time best comedian, Basket Mark, last Saturday got the over 2,000 comedy lovers at the conference center reeling with uncontrollable laughter when he described how his funeral should be organized when he dies in the distant future. Basket Mark said he would not be dying anytime soon, but when the time eventually comes, he does not want a dirge to be played at his funeral, but rather the hit American hip-hop song Bugatti by Ace Hood featuring Rick Ross. The comedian said he does not also want to be laid in his coffin, but rather want to sit in his coffin with style and wants to be buried same style and that no one should shed a single tear because he would be resting. 
he even showed how his Paul Barris should walk and dance to the rhythm of Bugatti when they lift his coffin. Basket Mouth also taught his female audience how to get into the pants of any lady in the world while she still believes and tells everyone, oh my god, this guy is so different. The comedian for close to an hour held his audience spellbound with drip hugging laughter that moved some to tears. Now, renowned Guinean actor Kofi Ajololu has called for the ban of telenovelas from airing on our local television stations. According to the veteran actor, those soap operas are dwindling the Guinean movie industry. Speaking in an interview, he advised Guineans to take a cue from Nigerians who once banned these limited-run serial dramas, which made it rare to watch such series in the country. He noted that the telenovelas are killing the industry, so they should stop all these Mexican things they have been showing. I will say this over and over again. They should rather concentrate on what we are doing here. You know in Nigeria, you can show Mexican series at a time it was banned and is rare. He stressed that if I, Kofi Ajalulu, had my own way as the president of the Private TV Stations Association, or whatever they call it, I will ban it. I will make sure my executives agree to it, and we concentrate on how to produce more Guinean movies and series. If possible, the TV stations should bring money to produce such kind of series. The award-winning actor stated that television stations that show these series with the aim of entertaining their viewers are making things difficult for actors and movie producers in the country. He added that TV stations pay higher amount of money to movie producers who submit these soap operas to them than those who present local movies. Kofi Ajalolo, who was recently honored as a Hollywood legend, disclosed that Guinean movies have received international recognition because of the improvement in its content so TV stations should try as much as possible to discourage the taste of the consumer for such soap operas to inculcate the habit of patronizing local movies oh my oh my Bantel novellas at a time when we are all enjoying Maracuz, Emeralds, Necklace, Destiny River and all Abba, Uncle Kofi, when they are gonna want to ask you, Kwe. Watching Celebrity TV. We love them, we love them. You stay tuned with Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Watching Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Celebrity TV. Number one. Celebrity TV. CCTV. If it's hot, they got it, they make it rock. Hmm? The president of the Ghana Actors Guild, Mr. Nee Odoi Mensa, has revealed that majority of the guild's members don't pay dues. Mr. Odoi made this revelation when asked for his reactions on why the guild charges money from aid members before giving them an introductory letter for official assignments traveling, seeking sponsorship, accreditations, etc. He said, yes, we charge them. If we don't charge them, where would we get money to run the guild? Majority of the guild's members don't pay their dues, both in head office here in Accra and in Kumasi. They don't pay. He further said he once had to go to Kumasi to admonish the guild's members to pay their dues. Without money, we can't do much as far as actors' welfare is concerned. Information gathered by Celebrity TV indicates that a guild charges 50 Ghana cities for every introductory letter the guild prepares for its members. We also gather that some A-list actors such as Kalsum Sinari, Jackie Apia, Yvonne Nelson and others all stand accused. However, Mr. Odoi refused to react to that for confirmation or otherwise.
Nigerian music star Ice Prince, born Panshag Zomani, has been booked to perform at a wedding. But this is not just another business deal. There is more to it. The musician, known for several hit songs, including Aboki, in a dilemma because the wedding involves an ex-girlfriend. Refusing to disclose the identity of his client, Ice Prince posted on Michael Blogging's site, Twitter, that he has been booked as a surprise act for the bride. According to him, the groom is fully aware of his past relationship with the bride. The musician asked his fans whether he should charge the couple or perform for free. Ice Prince tweeted, laugh out loud, this guy had though trying to book me to perform at his wedding and he's getting married to my ex. We cool though, but he got to pay. Your opinions guys, if you are an artist and you're being booked to perform as a surprise to the bride, she is your ex and he knows, how much are you charging? He quizzed. Now, here is what his fans advised. You're no more charges man. So whatever reasons you have had for her and just be happy for her because she is getting married. Another said, you can charge them but not too much so it won't look like you are paying she's marrying someone else. Just see it as a wedding gift to her. While the third responded, ha ha ha, the guy carrying liver no be small. If I was in your shoes, I'm going to charge thrice my normal pay, man. Meanwhile, Ice Prince, who disclosed in a recent interview that he was not mentally ready for marriage, also tweeted that all his ex-girlfriends are getting married. Hmm, so all my exes are getting married, huh? Ease, okay, turn by turn. The rapper said and hinted that he will be going on a girl shopping soon. It's time, maybe. So now Celebrity TV is asking, what would you do if you are in his shoes? Let's have your comments on our Facebook page, Celebrity TV Ghana. Now today, Celebrity TV would like to present to you how well, I mean financially, some of our top musicians are doing. You know, in Ghana, we have nothing like album, single sales or royalties. We can only calculate how much an artist made by knowing the number of shows he or she performed and perhaps the ambassadorial deals he or she had. We are going to feature 13 of such artists, but today we'll present six of them, starting from the bottom. We'll bring you the rest in our subsequent episode. Enjoy this. On the 13th spot is Guru. We thought Guru had a big year with his La Paz Toyota song last year, but this year has been even better for him thanks to his multiple hit songs, Voice Abre, Al Qaeda, Amen, Azonto Boys, and more. These hit songs made Guru relevant these past few months, making him pay shows on every big stage from fashion shows to Valentine shows and more. Guru has paid his dues these past few months. He will also mount the upcoming Ghana Mute Niger concert. Guru's charges are between 4,000 and 7,000 Ghana cities. At number 12 is D Black. D Black don't have a hit song currently, but thanks to his protege, Joe B's hit song and his past collaborations with acts like Shata Wale, EL and more, he still managed to be on top of several shows. D Black headlined the Night Train Beat Jam, mounted talk of G8 alcoholic beach party toward Europe, Amsterdam and Italy during the Ghana Independence celebrations, had a successful music video premiere and he performed at Mustin Beach. D Black charges 5,000 Ghana cities and above. Now next up, at no Let me talk to you. My baby, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you, baby. Oh, uh, your body shape, figure eight, African girl, your figure great. Beautiful smile, your pretty face, your lifestyle, make me wanna date. We have kisses for breakfast, wishes for lunch, I wish I have you for supper.